the victor of many great battles. Was out with his son, Gohan. To see his comrades nice again. Meeting, Gohan. I'm Walmart. 
Suddenly, a creature from outer space appears to announce an astounding fact. Just the person I'm looking for. My name is Raditz. I've come to destroy this planet and you're going to help me. After all, that's what we do, brother. We are Satan. Goku was brought to his knees by the almighty power of the alien, and Gohan was carried away a prisoner. Mysterious Alien Attack. What an unexpected surprise. I just stopped by to enjoy the view. Why are you idiots here? You know why. Give me back my son right now. <laughs> and what if I don't feel like it, huh? What are a couple of puny runs like you going to do about it? You might be stronger than I am, but that doesn't matter. There's no way that I'll back down. Hmm. You fools just don't get it, do you? I'll let you in on a secret. This planet's history. Even if you beat me, there are two more powerful Saiyans on their way. That's just great. Then I'll deal with you first. I have to save Gohan. Nothing like you, Raditz. You're not my brother. Please, let me go. Do I promise you I'll leave this planet right now? No, you can't listen to him, Goku. He's only telling lies. Please, brother. I beg of you. Goku, no! You fell for that trick. Too bad. Now you're all mine. Ah! 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 Huh? Hmm?
This is it. I'll finish it. After losing his life in a brutal battle against his brother Raditz, Goku finds himself in the other world. Taking King Yemma's advice, Goku travels the long, long road of Snake Way in search of the ruler of the other world, King Kai. There, that's it. That's the planet King Yemma was talking about. King Kai? After the oh, appropriate introduction, Goku Planet's found cool. himself training on King Kai's King planet. Wow. Six months later, the Saiyans finally arrive on Earth and begin their dreaded attack. <laughs> I can't wait to see Kakarot's face when he sees that his son has been smashed into tiny pieces! The Nimbus Cloud? What? Goku! Goku's Quiet Fury. Piccolo. Again? <laughs> Yamcha! <laughs> hey, Fun! That's not all! I got that other little friend of yours as well! <laughs> you didn't. Chow Tzu! No! That's it! Super Duel! <laughs> Kakarot, do you have any idea how lucky you are that a super elite warrior like myself has decided to let you have a fighting chance? <laughs> hey, thanks. But I don't expect a fair fight. It doesn't seem like your style. 
<laughs> there! I've let you speak your mind, now let's begin, shall we? Indeed, Kakarot. Now you're going to see me transform! <laughs> Nothing can save me now! What in the world is this? What's this, huh? Another trick? <laughs> <laughs> don't you see, Kakarot? You don't have a chance against me! Oh, what enormous energy! He sure is big. This'll be tough for sure. But I'm ready for him. I'll just have to give him everything I've got! You big ape! While Goku prepared to use the Spirit Bomb technique he learned from King Kai, the giant ape Vegeta, countered with an attack of his own. <laughs> and now, I'll crush you! <sighs> it's been nice knowing you, Kakarot! Power level? Where? You let go of my <sighs> dad! <sighs> so, it's Kakarot's son! Oh, how nice! Did you come to say goodbye to your father, Sonny? Uh, just shut down death! Uh, uh, well, take a good look. Cause it'll be the last one you'll ever get! Uh, 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 nice job! Your pathetic little friends won't catch me off guard, Kakarot. I'm too smart for the trick! Stop! No! No! I don't believe it! Show Gohan's true power! You little insect! How dare you! You're starting to make me very angry! You want to play with me? Then let's play, boy! Are you ready?
I hope this works! What the? Ugh. Throw it back, Gohan! You have to throw it back! Gohan turns the tables on Vegeta and brings him down hard. But with the little energy he has left, Vegeta summons his spaceship, hoping to make a hasty retreat. His plan, escape Earth and live to fight another day. I'll be back, and next time, I'll destroy them all! You're not going anywhere, Vegeta! I'll stop you! Let me go! It's over, you fool! It's not over yet! No! Wait! Krillin, stop! Please, let Vegeta go. Look, I know this probably sounds crazy, but I want to challenge him again one day. I have to do it to prove it to myself that I can beat him. So please, just let him go. Please! Consider yourself lucky this time, but I will be back to destroy you and all of your friends. <laughs> Promise me you won't hold back. You've got to use all your power so that we can be done with him once and for all. Don't, Don't worry. worry. I, I will, Krillin. Hey everyone, Goku here. We've heard that there's another set of Dragon Balls on a planet called Namek. We're going to try to use them to wish our dead friends back to life. Bulma and the others have gone on ahead to search. All of you, stay out of my way! <laughs> Those Dragon Balls are as good as mine. I will be immortal! Next on Dragon Ball Z, let's go to Namek. See you there! After a heated battle, the beaten Saiyan Prince Vegeta escaped, and Goku was left badly injured. Meanwhile, the Sea Fighters went to Kami's home planet, Namek, to find the Dragon Balls and wish back their fallen friends. But even though they landed safely, trouble wasn't too far behind.
something terrible was about to rain down from the Namekian sky. Uh, that's a Saiyan spaceship! But I don't know what to do! Bulma quickly relayed a message to Master good. Roshi on Earth that Saiyan trouble was beginning to brew. While Goku now. received the healing power of a Sensu Beam, Master Roshi informed him of the bad news from Namek. The Sensu Beam didn't take long, and Goku was at full power yeah. once again. Fearing the worst, Goku flew to Dr. Brief's laboratory to board the eccentric scientist spaceship. All aboard! First stop, Namek. Let's go to Nemec! Well, I'd better start my training if I hope to stand a chance against Vegeta. It's not going to be easy on me, so I've got to be twice as hard on myself. I didn't expect to face him again so soon, but this time, I will be ready for him. Avoid him, but I don't think it'll be easy. Kamehameha! 
Yes! That was tough training. <laughs> I bet I could take on any of King Kai's techniques now. <laughs> to secure the Dragon Ball. Gohan and Krillin had Namekian business of their own. They visited the creator of the Dragon Ball. Ooh, the great sage revealed their hidden power. But unfortunately, this Namekian soiree up. was to have some Unlike uninvited guests. Frieza and his bodyguards, known as the Ginyu Force, had also landed, and they weren't leaving without the Dragon Ball. Alongside Vegeta, Krillin and Gohan put up a valiant effort, but they were no match for the imposing power of the Ginyu Force. Uh. 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 We can't let them win! Uh. Uh. Landing operations complete. Welcome to Planet Planet. Gohan, Krillin, I know things aren't good. Hold tight, I'm coming. I can only hope my training will be enough. Goku's arrival. You did very well, I'm proud. You fought hard. And now it's my turn. Fool! You think you can take on the Ginyu Force all by yourself? Well, I'm gonna give it a shot. You think you're ready for me? <laughs> ready for you? Oh, you cracked me up. But enough of the comedy routine. Let's finish this. Attack! Oh! thousand years a Super Saiyan is born. But it's not fair. It should be me. I am the prince of all Saiyans. No! So you've somehow managed to make it through my elite team. But now you face Captain Genyu. I am undefeated. Get ready to die. Vegeta, you take the one on the left, all right? I know that you've regained your strength since you lost your power earlier. And for our sake, I hope that will be enough. How did you know that? Set, go! 
No thanks, I've got pressing business elsewhere. Those Dragon Balls are mine! Vegeta! <laughs> fighting. So why don't you just give up? But wait a minute. Super Saiyan is supposed to be the most powerful fighters in the universe. That's right. So maybe you're not quite a Super Saiyan just yet. But I gotta admit you're a whole lot stronger than I am and you must know the old saying. <laughs> if you can't beat them, join them! <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? Stay now! <laughs> Not bad at all. Kinda cold are you in here. I've... I found you! So, you're still alive, are you? <laughs> I should have smashed up my body more. What? And spoil all the fun? Vegeta! Go ahead and finish this, can you? I'll take care of the winner. This won't take long. Remember your neck, Vegeta! <laughs>
while Goku spent some quality time in the rejuvenation chamber. Gohan and Krillin use the Dragon Balls to summon the dragon and wish Piccolo back to life. I'm home. Yes, how? But Frieza had his own wish to grant on this particular birthday. Got you! Net! It's amazing! I'm much stronger. I had no idea my power would increase this much! Huh! Don't worry. I'm coming, guys! Goku's Revival Here, Frieza, in the name of all the Saiyans you killed, and for all the people of Namek, your time has finally come. I'm going to finish you! If I don't stop Frieza, he'll ravage the entire universe. One shot left, the spirit bomb. I, I have to borrow the spirit of the planet Namek and all its creatures. Please, give me your strength! You really are a bothersome little pest. And I've had enough! I'll turn you! This into dust. It's time! <laughs> what? No! You can't stop me!
legendary Super Saiyan. Enough! I can't allow you to do this anymore! And now, Frieza, you are going to pay! Gohan, get Piccolo and take him somewhere safe. Go on, son. I'll take care of this monster once and for all. Now get going! I see now. I understand, Dad. You turned into a... a Super Saiyan! He's taken innocent lives again and again. My best friend, Drillin. It's over! Freeze! Protector of the planet Earth. I am the answer to all beings everywhere in pain who cry out for help. I am called Goku, and I am a Super Saiyan! But God, you and God me! Uh, I will not stand for this humiliation! But if that's how you want to play, prepare to meet your doom, Saiyan! A quiet but fierce battle. Forgive you. I will avenge him. Innocent lives you took! 
You want me to spare you? Why should I give you the mercy you never showed anyone? I gave you some of my energy. So now you're on your own. Uh, no. You cannot defeat me. I can't be beaten. I am the strongest in the universe. I will finish you with my own hands. Once and for all. from Namek somehow, but when we got back to Earth, there was this guy from the future waiting for us. Three years from now, the Earth is going to be threatened by a pair of androids. You have to stop them. <laughs> Nothing will stop me from fulfilling my design! I am perfect! Next time on Dragon Ball Z, a new threat. Huh? I'm going to die from a heart virus? Rocket 
Have you figured it out yet? Goku's not the only Saiyan. You're looking at one right now. A mysterious boy who claims to know Goku's future has appeared and revealed an unexpected turn of events. Three years from now, you'll discover an android created by a scientist named Dr. Jerome. And in one year, you, Goku, will die from a heart virus. But I can help you. As hard as it is to believe, this young boy named Trunks is the son of Bulma and Vegeta, and he has traveled back in time from the future. Before returning back to his own time, Trunks gave Goku some very potent heart medicine. It has now been three years since that day. A new threat. Goku. You know you don't stand a chance against us. We've been watching you. We've seen all of your battles with our spy robots. Oh, really? Did you make sure to watch all of my battles on Planet Namek? There was no need. We learned all we needed to learn from your scuffles with Vegeta. You revealed all of your powers and techniques. Maybe, but you've overlooked a very important detail. I'm stronger than you think. Well, it looks like you've managed to power up quite a bit, haven't you? But I can beat you at this level. And I know that 19 can take you with his eyes closed. All right. Why don't you both get over here, and we'll see how strong you really are! What's wrong with Goku? He's doing great out there, but it looks like he's in a lot of pain. Ugh, my dad's sick. It's his heart. Help him. His energy is stealing it. If anyone is going to defeat Kakarot, it's me! So stay out of my way, you robotic punk! Vegeta had finally transformed into a Super Saiyan! But unfortunately, he wasn't strong enough to beat the newly awakened android. Oh! Oh! Be patient. 17 and 18 are just around the corner. We need a more powerful warrior for this fight. We must become one. Go! Oh! 
yourself, you monster! And you're the next one in line for this! Dynamic Piccolo! You seem to think quite highly of yourself, knowing exactly who I am. <laughs> it's a pity. Which can be so powerful, yet so stupid! A wicked omen. I was wrong about you. You're much more powerful than the Piccolo I know of. Happy to disappoint you. Just who do you think you are? <laughs> you can call me Cell. I'm an android from the future, and I've been constructed from the cells of the strongest fighters on this planet. But why? Why did you come here from the future? To absorb the energy of Android 17 and 18. To absorb the energy from all of humanity. And to finally reach my perfect state. Nothing is going to get between me and the perfection I've come here to achieve. Certainly not you. <laughs> so let's go! While on the run from Piccolo, Cell's power increases with each person he absorbs. Goku, you're up! Are you okay? Yeah. I'm feeling a lot better. But I can't win with my power level so low. I'm taking Gohan to train with me. Bye, GT. <laughs> The next day, there is a knock at the door. Hello. Is Goku at home? Sneaky Cell. You're dead if you don't start talking. Got it? <laughs> Your idle threats won't work on me. Be 
I'm surprised someone as strong as you isn't an android. But, unlike you, my power never decreases. I'm just getting started. Huh? Huh? No! Zell! <laughs> At last, the day I waited so long for is here. No one can stop me! I will absorb that point 17 and 18 and reach my final perfect form! <laughs> Doki, you're back! Huh? I can feel the energy from Vegeta and Trunks. Good, so they must still be alive. But I can also feel Cell. Goku and Gohan have finished their training in the hyperbolic time chamber. But upon their emergence, they hear the news that Cell has achieved his perfect form. In ten days, I am going to hold a martial arts tournament. I hope I'll be treated to worthy adversaries. So, Mr. Self-Confident, did you discover something of value in the hyperbolic time chamber? <laughs> sure did! Yeah! You're a world champion! Hercule will crush that tail like he's one of those field great! Yeah! Look at him. Could he be a bigger idiot? After ten days of anticipation, the fateful day finally arrived. I look forward to this. Goku. I hope you're ready. Cell's game begins. Right. Let's get started. Goku's the first to go down. Well, that's really too bad. I was hoping I could save the best for last. Let's go. quite well, but both of our powers are decreasing. You should eat some sensu beans that way. The match can continue to be a great one. I'm finished. I'm done fighting. I can see the depths of your power, and Cell, I give this bout to you. This next round will probably be the last one of the tournament. If you win it, Cell, there's no one left on this planet who can beat you. Gohan, you're up next! Come on! What? 
Don't be foolish. If you couldn't defeat Cell, what makes you think Gohan can do it? Piccolo, Gohan possesses incredible power, the likes of which we've never seen before. It was revealed to me for the first time in the hyperbolic time chamber. Now, Gohan, this is your chance to bring peace back to the world. Got it, Dad. I'll do my best. A warrior beyond Goku. You're a conceited child, full of nothing but fantasy. You might be lucky, however, because you'll probably be dead well before you discover fear. Let's stop this. This senseless fighting is useless. I don't... I don't want to fight anymore. I hate killing as much as I hate you. I'm starting to understand why Dad said that only I could defeat you. Ever since I was a child, I've had trouble controlling my temper. Whenever I get angry, I get in fights and I have no control over my powers. And I never stop until the other person is incapable of fighting back. That's why. That's why Dad wanted me to fight him. That is a very nice monologue. But you don't expect me to be scared, after all. You are only a child. And just maybe your little speech has inspired me to anger you. While trying to infuriate Gohan, Cell delivers a devastating blow to Android 16, and the Cell Juniors join in the fight too. Stop! Stop it! Stop the fighting! Gohan! Huh? Was that you? There is nothing wrong with fighting to bring about peace. Breathe your spirit as your anger rises. I... I know how you feel, but you can't hold back any longer. Give your big mouth a rest, you factory recall. <laughs> Gohan explodes. I can't hold it back. You guys are dead. Yeah! <laughs> 
ガミガミハー You seem quite confident for a toddler. Do you actually think you stand a chance against me? No question about it.
<laughs> In 60 seconds, my body will explode, and I'll be gone forever. But I'm taking you and this entire planet with me. <laughs> What am I going to do now? I can only think of one way to get him out of here in time. What's he? Goodbye, my friend. Goku! You did a great job, son, but I have to take it from here. <gasps> what? What are you doing? Tell your mother that I love her very much. <laughs> Sorry, King Kai, but this is the only place I can think to take this guy. It can't be! No! 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 Father, no! <laughs> The final battle. Hmm. Isn't that good? Are you feeling okay? <laughs> sure, good enough to avenge my dad. But I'm sure he'd rather be here taking care of you himself. I doubt you know what you're up against this round, little man. This isn't over! Son. Warrior! 
Has your incredible power died? I'm finished. There's no use in fighting back anymore. Come on, Gohan. Don't give up. Use the pain of loss. Dad? Dad, is that you? I... I can't see you. Are you there? I'm not with you, son. I'm someplace else. But I want you to attack him with the Kamehameha wave. That's the only thing I can think of that will lay him out for sure. But... But, Dad, I, I only have the use of one of my arms, and my energy level is less than half. No. You can do it, son. You just have to let go. I'll try it. Look inside yourself. It's there you'll find the power you need. Yes. Yes! everyone, it's Goku here. King Kai's letting me talk to you from Otherworld right now, so I really don't have that long. I remember, Bulma told me something a long time ago about how it seemed like I always attract the bad guy. And when you stop and think about it, in a way that's true, I think the world might just be safer without me. So, I know it might be hard on Chi Chi and Gohan, but don't bother wishing me back to life. Don't worry, we'll meet again one day. I'll be waiting for you. Bye!
In their last encounter, Goku barely managed to defeat his old enemy Piccolo in an epic battle. Now, after some much needed time to recuperate, Goku has nice taken his son you, Gohan, Gohan on a visit to Turtle Island. I'm Boma. Yeah. Suddenly, from out of nowhere, a strange spacecraft crash lands on Earth, and Piccolo faces off against the mysterious alien on board. Ah, just the person I'm looking for. My name is Raditz. I've come to destroy this planet, and you're going to help me. After all, that's what we do, brother. We are Saiyans. Goku refused to give in to Raditz's demand, so the Saiyan warrior kidnaps Gohan. Now, Goku and Piccolo must join forces in order to combat this new threat. A mutually deadly foe. Well, what an unexpected surprise. I just stopped by to enjoy the view. Why are you idiots here? You know why. Give me back my son right now. <laughs> and what if I don't feel like it, huh? What are a couple of puny runs like you going to do about it? Don't get too cocky. I don't think you can take both of us at once. Hmm. You fools just don't get it, do you? I'll let you win on a secret. This planet's history. Even if you beat me, there are two more powerful Saiyans on their way. Huh. There's two more? No matter, I'll deal with you first, and by the time they get here, I'll be ready. like you, Raditz. You're not my brother. Please, let me go. Do I promise you I'll leave this planet right now? No, you can't listen to him, Goku. He's only telling lies. Please, brother. I beg of you. Goku, no! You fell for that trick. Too bad. Now you're all mine. Ah, 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 ah. Huh? Hmm? What? No! 
way! Curse that kid! Hey! Let go! Piccolo! Blast him! Do it now! This is it. He's all mine. Just with a clear shot of him. Or maybe both of them. Of course, both of them! Preparing for the Saiyan's inevitable attack, Piccolo spends his days training with Gohan. But Gohan has a tough time keeping up with the determined Namek. One year later, the Saiyans finally arrive and begin their devastation of the planet. And in no time, the two Saiyans have the Earth in the palm of their hands. But Earth's last defense, the Z Warriors, stand shoulder to shoulder, ready to thwart the attack. <laughs> Never. Let's find out how strong these fools really are. Prepare the Cybermen. Sure, Vegeta. This should be good for a laugh. Huh? What? <laughs> Saiyan attack! So tell me, why have you two decided to grace the Earth with your presence? A Namekian! Of course! You created the Dragon Ball, didn't you? And that's why we're here, pal! Hand them over! We got a lot more Cybermen, you know! Huh. All your Cybermen do is give me a real pain in the neck. I'll finish him off for good.
I know that the Dragon Balls can make any wish come true. I'll use them for eternal life. And take control of the universe. What? Look, foolish earthlings. How dare they get in my way? Uh, get off of me, you're right. I'll let Nappa take care of you first. Goodbye. One Please. by one. <laughs> They're all totally helpless! What's this? Snap has been beaten! Cacolot, your luck has run out! 
I don't know what trick you used on Nappa, but they won't work on me! Vegeta, Saiyan Prince. Nappa was a loyal servant and a true warrior. You will suffer for what you've done! Are you crazy? He would have been alright. You're the one who blew him up! Silence! You ignorant fool! Do you know nothing of Saiyan Pride? You fool! You think 
I can't hear you back there. <laughs> Sneaky. That's what I like about you. Hey, come on, join me. <laughs> no way, forget it. I'd have to be crazy. You'd just kill me like you did your last partner. I nap a noble warrior's death. It was what he deserved. <clears throat> he was a saiyan! <laughs> Vegeta had managed to make a very narrow escape from Earth. After recuperating in the rejuvenation chamber on planet Frieza, he was ready to make plans for a trip to Namek. His plans are about to change. What do you want from me, Gui? Well, it seems that Lord Frieza got impatient. He left for the Dragon Balls. <laughs> what? I'll kill him! Stop! Frieza! Those Dragon Balls are mine! <laughs> that was far too easy. You die! Stop! No! Go on! You gotta get out of here! I will protect this Dragon Ball with my life. The hot-headed Prince Vegeta managed to reclaim five of the Dragon Balls and happened onto another. Watch out, Krillin! There's a greedy Saiyan on your tail! <laughs> oh, this is my lucky day! Will Vegeta claim Krillin's Dragon Ball to make an even six? And what new threat is arriving in these spaceships? Vegeta's attack! I see you have a new partner, Vegeta. No matter. I will defeat you and the little bald one and claim the Dragon Ball. Lord Freezer will be so pleased. Ha! Huh. Gotta be kidding. With or without him, I will take that Dragon Ball from you. Come on, try it! <laughs> it's your funeral. <laughs> How very careless, Zarbon! Have you forgotten that a Saiyan increases his strength after every battle? I don't care how much your strength increases. No puny Saiyan can match my power! 
So, a puny saiyan, is it? You mock me? And here you are. Recoom! Better! Yes! Google! Get you! So, the Ginyu boys. Who goes first? Well, are you ready for me? Don't worry, because it'll be over very soon, Vegeta. Master! Ginyu fighter! Recoom! Ha! Goku's last-minute entry put an end to the Ginyu Force. The elite soldier fell like Domino. And Vegeta taught new classes himself in this school of pain. With Vegeta napping, Gohan and Krillin took the Dragon Ball. And with a little aid from the Namek Dende, they were able to make their wish. Your wish is granted. I'm home. Yes, but how? With Guru's passing, the Dragon Balls were turned to stone and left powerless, crushing Vegeta's dream of becoming a Super Saiyan. Why can't anything good happen to me today? But a Super Saiyan might come in handy when you're <gasps> facing a furious Frieza. <laughs> the Road to Super Saiyan.
Well, well, well. I must say the truth. This may be a first, but it's far from a pleasure. I have been made a fool of! And I don't like it one little bit! Get used to it! I am well on my way to becoming a Super Saiyan Freezer! Poor little bug, tell me that. And I had enough of it! Faced with Frieza's monstrous transformation, Piccolo decides to merge with the Namek hero Nail and combine their powers. I'm here. But Frieza's next transformation proved too much even for Piccolo's new might. That's it! Now I'll truly become a Super Saiyan. <clears throat> My plan really worked! I feel it! I am the Prince of all Saiyans! Frieza or Vegeta? Smiling while you can, Frieza. This time, you face your worst nightmare. I am a Super Saiyan. Oh, please, you must be joking. Yeah! <laughs> 
coming for you, Frieza! You can't run from me! No! Are you sure that you're a Super Saiyan Vegeta? I don't know, it seems rather unlikely. What? Happened? No! This, this can't be my limit! But I... I'm a... I'm a Super Saiyan! Ah! Die, Frieza! <laughs> Unable to face his greatest failure, the once proud Saiyan Prince loses his will to fight. Well, Super Saiyan, it's time to say goodnight. Great. What could it be this time? Oh well. He'll be well disposed of soon enough. What? <laughs> Frieza, your reign of terror has ended. Now you must face a real... A real Super Saiyan. Now, Vegeta, I told you that I don't like your lies. Vegeta! Frieza, you monster! You didn't have to do that! I don't believe you! He was already down! No, Kakarot! You must feed off your emotions! It's the only way to become... To become a Super Saiyan! Listen to me, Kakarot! Frieza destroyed our planet and all of the Saiyan people! He's very afraid of both of us and of our possibilities! He knows that you're becoming a Super Saiyan and you must... De defeat him or... For the proud Saiyan race will end here. Kakarot, please. Please. dreams of immortality, but this is far from over! Now, you will pay! I'm going to exterminate you like insects! But I'm going to do it one by one! Starting with you, little one! Yeah! <laughs> 
What have you done to Gohan? Huh? I will not let you get away with this, Frieza! He's a 
Super Saiyan! Welcome to the last fight you will ever have! Super Saiyan Vegeta. You know, I can tell by watching your moves. You guys aren't the great fighters I heard you were. You're forgetting what we already know, aren't you? We've committed all your moves to memory. My powers cannot be measured! By such simple observations! What? I can't believe it! He's become a Super Saiyan! The one thing I've always wanted is to be the strongest fighter in the universe. I suffer the most grueling training. Until I realize my limits as a fighter. The anger of myself swelled up inside of me and woke my Super Saiyan powers! I think that's enough chit-chat for now. Nike, our fight's not with you. Get him out of our way. Stop 
Dr. Giroux hastily retreated to his laboratory in order to activate his reinforcements. No way! Aw, oh, they're gone. But... to where? I was here, ready to fight them. And they ignored me! I'll show them! Where do you two morons think you're running off to? We're going to Goku's house. To kill him. You'll have a hard time getting past me. When I'm done with you, you'll be nothing but lawnmower parts. Those Saiyans and their blind overconfidence. Pride will always be their greatest handicap. Back. Why don't you put a cork in that big mouth of yours? I'll prove that you're wrong! My turn. I'll do it. to become as strong as possible and achieve his perfect form, Cell undergoes yet another transformation. <laughs> well, Kakarot, it doesn't look like there's any reason for you to get involved at this point. Yeah, you've trained well, Vegeta. <laughs> of course. Vegeta's confidence. So, you're set. Come with me. Now, I'm going to tear you limb from limb. <laughs> you're gonna do that. Look at you. That's right. So watch carefully while I wipe that horrible smile off that ugly face. Beat it, 
limit to your strength. It seems worthless killing something with such a low power level. Uh, no! Why? Uh, I need perfection. I must attain my perfect form. Well, if you'd rather fight in your perfect form, then fine. I can hardly wait for it. Go. I found her! Hold still, 18! Uh. Perfect form cell complete. Your perfect form isn't much of a change, is it? You think so? Then perhaps you could help me warm up, if you don't mind that. Warm you up? With my abilities, you'll be scorched! Let's begin. This is a warm-up. It's over now! What's wrong? Where's your strength? Where is your pride? No!
My name is Cell. I am an android who has come back in time from the future. I need to There'll absorb no Android 17 and 18, so I become my perfect that form like and hold absolute what power. What if it is at home? What hmm. do you do then? What's this? Kill him. Just it is what I was programmed please. to do. Rejoice, my friend. Once you allow me to absorb you, you will forever become part of the invincible and super being known to the world as self! Aim for perfect form. Look, 17 accept the fact that you're mine. It's easier that way. You think I'm just gonna sit back and let you absorb me? No way! Uh -huh. I won't let you do it, Cell! What? What are you doing? I offered you a peaceful solution, but I'll show no mercy to anyone who gets in my way! become a perfect being. You should feel privileged. All I feel is disgusting. Wait! You want her cell to get through me? <laughs> Sorry, Eighteen. Your time is up. 
<laughs> Not yet. Look out! No, not you! What are you doing? No! That freak is gonna pay for what he did to Krillin! I swear, if it's the last thing I do... He lost too much power. Yamcha, it's time to go. A cold-blooded assassin. I'll take care of this by myself. Well now, you seem confident. <laughs> of course I am. I'm not gonna let some punk like you walk all over me! Just wait till you get a taste of the legendary Wolf Fang Fist! <laughs> Should have fight me all by himself. It's just not fair. Not yeah. so fast. <laughs> what? What is that? It's my tribeam. <laughs> <laughs> I guess 10 days is just too long to wait for the tournament.